Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, Ben and myself, we've pretty much got content going out every 24 to 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your business. And if you need more help, where this video is, visit the description below. Click on the description. There'll be a number of ways that we can help you. You can either reach out to us uh, with questions or if you're interested in working with us in our Sports Accelerator coaching program, then you can apply through there as well. Okay, so today I want to talk about how to make money coaching sports online. Now, a question that Ben and myself get asked on a regular basis is we get asked, uh, how can I make money coaching sports online? Or how can I start a remote coaching business now something we do with coaches in our accelerator program is we do help them to implement an online business or an in online uh, coaching program uh, with on and on top of what they're currently doing in person okay so what i wanted to share with you today is five different steps that you can take in order to start a business uh, online where you're working with clients, not just in your local area, but you can work with clients all around the world. Okay, so the first one is you've got open and in-person training academy business first. So as I mentioned just a minute ago, all majority of the clients that we work with that, that have online businesses are all clients who have in-person training academies. Okay. We don't work with coaches who just want to start an online business from scratch uh, because it's very difficult and it does take a lot of time and consistency. And we know, Ben and myself know that that is something that most coaches out there don't, uh, don't have, right? They don't have the, the patience, they don't have the consistency, and they don't have the time to be able to grow it from scratch online so what we like to do is we like to work with coaches who currently have training academies it might be in soccer it might be in basketball right whichever sport they're in it might be baseball and they're currently working with customers already right they have in-person training clients that they're working with and now what they'd like to do is offer an additional service which is the online coaching okay now once you have 20, 30, 50, 100 or 100 plus uh, customers that you're working with and you sit down and you think to yourself, do you know what? I want to now implement an online side to my current uh, training business. The next step, which is number two, is create a survey with your current customer base to ask them whether they would invest into your online training. Okay. Now, the reason why you want to do this and the reason why we work with coaches who already have in-person clients is because once you put your online product or your online service out there and your in-person clients start using it, you can use them as testimonials and proof that what your coaching does online actually works. A lot of coaches out there, they want to start these online businesses, but they, they have never worked with clients. They don't have client success stories. They don't have testimonials. They don't have proof that what they actually do works, right? So for example, in our company, if you scroll down to the description and you click on where it says apply for our sports accelerator program, that's going to take you to a landing page that you will find hundreds and hundreds of case studies, testimonials, and proof, social proof of coaches that we have worked with, who we have helped and got results with. So it's the same concept with, if you're starting a co an online, online coaching business and you're working with athletes, you need to have proof that what you do works and that it can get results. Right, the next one is set up online platforms. So how are you going to do your coaching? Is it going to be just uh, an ebook where clients purchase it from you? Is it going to be an online course 
Is it going to be live training sessions where you're, for example, you're using YouTube and then you might create a YouTube channel to upload all your recorded uh, sessions so clients can go back and do them after they've, they've trained with you, right? So you've got to set up an online community and an online platform that you're going to use in order to run your online sports coaching business, right? And that also includes taking payments, right? But if you already work with customers on uh, in person, then all of that should be in place and you can just add the online stuff as an extra product and use all the systems you have already with your online stuff. Okay, that's why, again, we, we encourage get out there, build a business, build an in-person academy. Then once you've maxed it out, then we look to add in the additional stuff, which is the online. Okay, now the fourth one is now you've got to build your coaching program and your price point. So building the program essentially means what problem are you looking to solve? Okay, is it a confidence problem? Is it a college recruitment problem? Is it, is it technical training? Is it extra supplemental training that your clients need? What is it that your online coaching business is going to solve for the customers that buy your service? Okay, what is the commitment that is involved? If it's an online uh, program, right, you, it might be like a 12 week online program that you create that your clients can can watch through it whenever okay now if it's in live live session where your clients are jumping on zoom you're on zoom and you're doing the session together then what is the commitment for that how are parents getting billed for that what is the problem you're looking to solve is it a three-month product a uh, program is it a six month is it a 12 month Right, so you've got to treat your online business the exact same way as if it was in person. That's a problem that a lot of coaches have as well. They treat the online stuff with less importance than the in person, right? You've got to remember the online is exactly the same as if you were to have an in person, right? You've got to have systems, you've got to have marketing, you've got to have a coaching program in place, you've got to be charging parents. Okay, so what is your coaching program? What is it you're looking to solve? What is the value that you add? Why should people come to you? Okay, and what is the price point? What is the commitment in terms of payment that parents or customers have to pay in order to be part of your online sports coaching program? Okay, and then the fifth one is personalize the experience. So once you start getting a a certain amount of clients, you start working with them, you see what, what problems they're having uh, at the moment, and then you can start building a business around solving those specific types of problems and then improving your service by maybe adding additional services to that. So if you're doing a live in-person, sorry, a live coaching session, where you, all your players are jumping on Zoom and you're doing a live session together, right? Maybe you might decide to add an additional service where it's just an online program they can do any day of the week, but they've got to follow a 12 week program. Okay, it might be an ebook, it might be you offer workshops or you do webinars. Okay, so what are the additional services services that you can add on top of your live? sessions that you run for either Zoom or Skype, okay? And how can we improve that? And then the sixth one, right? This is a bonus. It's not on the screen, but it's a bonus, is now how can we market and sell this uh, online sports coaching program so that you can work with more people across the world? A lot of coaches like this type of uh this coaching type of coaching program because it offers that opportunity for a lot of people to maybe work from home uh, and also travel the world while also working with clients. That can be done if you have the right systems in place, but right, it comes down to how well you're marketing and promoting your business so that you're able to do this from wherever you are 
and it's an additional service that supplements your in-person. Okay, now, if you want to do this full time, then you've got to make sure that the, the online stuff uh, pays you enough so that you can leave the in-person stuff and just focus on the online stuff. Okay, but that's something we, we can talk about on a on an upcoming video. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, description below, that's the best way that you can get in contact with us with any questions that you may have. And remember, if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single video that we post.